Really, bro? Are you so excited? Well, I don't know what it is. Wow. It's either a desk, a puppy. What? Open that box. Okay, so Scott, in his efforts to furnish our home the most ergonomically as possible and build the most epic desk space, he has made some purchases. A couple purchases you didn't realize were in USD, not CAD. It's okay. But it's okay. <gasps> what is it? I think this is the chair itself. That's pretty cool. Okay, so he purchased this amazing chair. We're gonna show it to you. And um, it's supposed to be incredibly ergonomic because we have this one chair from Structube, which is fancy and nice, but Scott works from home, as I'm sure a lot of you do as well. And, uh... <laughs> So he purchased this crazy chair after doing all of this research. Uh, I'll show you. What's so good about this chair? It's really cool, I'll show you later. It um, isn't like a traditional chair with armrests and like a... You'll see, it doesn't look like a traditional chair because it's meant for you to continuously adjust yourself on. You can sit on it backwards, you can sit on it sideways, um, which is supposed to help your core as well as um, keep your back obviously not sore. I find the chair wearing nail as much as I love it. Uh, it starts hurting my legs and my hips because you're just kind of stuck in the same position. Look at this, just four parts. Where is it from? This is from oh, Fully. Norway. This made is in from Norway. Fully, but, but made in Norway. You see that? I as like, soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I saw the word hag, I was like, that seems like a very Scandinavian. Plus, the design is quite Scandinavian. Let's put this together, and then we can show you because, as Scott said, it actually is extremely hard to explain. <laughs> to change about it. Can you show us like how people were sitting? Oh wow. Ooh, and it's got like supporting your arms too. A little straddle skedaddle. And then the other thing when I'm having her is So you can get that ring for the base. Exactly. Cool, good job. Great purchase of the month. This is hilarious. Look how tall this thing goes. First impressions? I really like it. I need to get more used to it though. I'm really to go this seems like a good bunch. Yeah. Little thing. It. Oh, right. So it kind of like, it can like move with you or just be locked. So they have it here when you're on it like this so you don't go ass over to your Because I just tried to go on it. Scary. And I almost ate it because I just like went forward. We're going to get our tree! Did you turn down the tunes? I actually didn't. Oh no. <laughs> We're going to get our tree. We have a huge tree, like the biggest tree. And it is currently at Scott's parents' house beside their garage. But it's too big! And now we have other furniture and all this stuff, so we're gonna go and pick up one of those skinny kind of condo trees that we're excited about. I keep saying to Scott, I really want a tree with 
with snow on it, but I know that will also be a disaster cleaning wise. And he really wants to get one that is just more like doesn't have snow on natural. it. Natural. <laughs> I was at the store the other day. I'm like, so have you reconsidered your thoughts about the snow? Uh -huh. He didn't. And I've got tons of like DIY Christmas things going on as well. So I'll show you that as well in this festive vlog. Nothing more festive than a little Tim stop. What? Are you filming? Yes. Yeah. Camera in my face. <laughs> What are you gonna order? Dark roast double double. Hi there, can I have a medium dark roast double double? Can I have a medium steep tea with two milk and one sugar? You want that? Yeah, no worries. The sign at the oops. The sign at this Tim Hortons is so bright. It's literally blinding Scott. <laughs> Guess what just happened? I was there, I know. <laughs> the person for the most just paid for us, the most Canadian thing you can do, and I feel like this is such a good theme for this vlog because that is very festive spirit. It's true. They probably just saw us singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very loudly. You said that that's never happened to you before? Never. First time. I've Has done it. I've done it several times, but never had it paid back to me. Ooh. I have this funny story where I was driving through a parking lot and the person in front of me kind of like cut me off and I was kind of like ah, why did you do that and then I saw that it was a kid driver like learning to drive and then I felt really bad and then so behind me in the drive-thru him and I'm guessing his dad and his sister were in the car and so I ended up paying for their drink and it was so or their drinks and then it was so funny because then I went to the intersection outside of that parking lot and I got to see their whole reaction unfold because I was at a red light and they just looked over me and were like, thanks! And I was like, no problem, good luck! It was really cute. Isn't that nice? Did he ever get that license? <laughs> yeah, we're best friends now. Oh, wow. Has this ever happened to you guys? Have you ever paid for someone in the drive-thru? Highly recommend random acts of kindness, especially right now. It's so true. We did that thing where we got our drinks, but we have to wear this mask. <laughs> It'll be the perfect temperature when we come out, I almost get to you. You know, I hate that that guy paid for us. <laughs> this is the tree lot. I like these little lights. So cute. I do like it. I really like him. decorating our tree. It looks so good. I love having the skinny one. And uh, speaking of the skinny, this is the best ice cream to get during the holidays. Candy cane and chocolate fudge crackle. The chocolate fudge crackle, that's what it looks like, is truly the real MVP, VIP here. So 
I'll show you guys the rest of our decorations tomorrow. But Scotty and I are gonna shut it down right now. There he is, looking like a Sith Lord over there. Um, because we have been starting to play backgammon or chess at night. We did it the other night for the first time and it's super relaxing and it's such a great way just to shut off. So I hope that you also find some time like that soon. If you're living with someone, obviously. If you're not, then online chess and backgammon against someone that you love. Have a good night, guys. Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday now. The sun has returned, kind of. It's quite a cloudy day. I think we had like another little bout of rain and snow last night. So it's quite cozy here. I'm wearing my little bobble head hat. Bobble head hat. <laughs> my little pom pom hat. I got it from work. It's a Columbia one. And then my Columbia jacket. Got my little Lulu fanny pack, just some jeans. And then these are like my favorite winter boots. They are Ugg. Some boots you like that. Scotty and I are about to go and grab lunch and I just released another video on YouTube. So I've been starting to do this Thriftmas series where I'm gonna be making decorations and things like that. And it's all about like making decorations on the cheap and just getting all that festive cheer in and um, not having to break the bank. So this will be one of them. By the time you're seeing this video, this will already be live. And the one that I released today, speaking of toques, let me find it. I don't even think I have you on camera. Where are you? There he is. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm actually like, where'd he go? Look how cute this is. It's this little tiny toque and I thought that would be a really good one to start off with because it's a little bit more involved than making just a yarn tassel, which I have been seeing people do, which I also love. Especially if you make a garland, you attach those toques and then you put those tassels on the end. So good. We're gonna go grab lunch. We usually try to eat meals together. We usually go to Fortino's because then we can both get what we want, which is nice. And I just wanted to do a little check-in. I hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. Hey friends, it has been quite a while since I have vlogged and the reason for that is because, this is very blue, one sec. Well hey there pals. I just woke up for an, from a nap. It's 2.27 and the reason why is because I worked at the morning show today. Oh God, just even talking about it. It really throws you off. You wake up at 3.30 and you're pretty much scrambled eggs by the afternoon if you don't have a nap. I've been working that the past two days, so I actually haven't vlogged the past two days, haven't checked in. Not completely sure where I left off this vlog, but nonetheless, today is still kind of an exciting day because it's one of my very close friends' birthdays, and you would have seen Sarah if you had watched um, my Mexico vlogs. I will link that up above because she is just a hoot. We had so much fun on that trip. But today's her birthday and tomorrow we are supposed to be going on a wine tour, but things changed for me and one of our other very good friends, Haley, obviously, just because of COVID and, and how things are going. So, um, Hales and I wanted to do something special for Sarah. So we are gathering together some of her favorite things and just around town and I'm gonna go drop them off at her door and then we're gonna give her a call. So, <sighs> by the time this goes live, She'll have already received it, so I'm gonna grab her some flowers. I'm gonna grab her some treats from this one shop called, Ke called Kelly's Bake Shop, downtown Burlington. It is such a cute shot. Maybe I can get some shots in there to show you guys if you have never seen it. And then as well, um, a bottle of wine. And then I also made these little yarn hats. I'll link the video up above how I made them, but I'm gonna put that like on top of the, the wine bottle. And then I have a little note on the wine bottle, basically just saying that like, to open, to consume, you've gotta have a little zoom. Oh my God, I could rhyme that. I'm gonna write a little poem now. <laughs> to consume, you must zoom with me and Haley so that we can just have like a little catch up, so. <laughs> this makes me way more excited than it should be, but I love that kind of stuff. So if you're ever getting me a gift, a card and a poem, that's the best. I love that. Shows the efforts, you know? So let's go do this cozy thing. I also got a package in the mail, which I will be doing like a little unboxing, but it's something that I purchased and really wanted for a long time because your girl needs to start working out again. So there's a little tease for that. This is what I mean. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? The little things, the little things. This is actually a really good tip. Many moons ago, I made these cards where it's like literally just this image and then it says love on this side and it's blank. 
but I made a whole whack of them just by looking up cute desktop photos because there are some amazing people out there. So yeah, I printed those off and bing, bang, boom, I have a whole bunch of blank cards, which really helps because I absolutely love writing cards and I love receiving cards and I love everything about the card industry, but it is a little expensive also. <laughs> so happy in the morning i wake up and it's obviously so dark it's 3 30 in the morning if you're waking up at 8 it is more it is dark but scotty will leave the christmas tree lights on me in the morning and when i wake up and i go out i'm so groggy and i see the tree it's like oh it's the best it's the best little glow and then as well tonight um i won't be filming this part but I have a friend who just had her last chemo, so I also have this card and it says, sometimes all you need is an old friend, a good chat, and a slightly expensive block of cheese. Isn't that so cute? We're having a little Zoom chat, a bunch of us, and um, congratulating her. so much because they are fully vegan. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut-free, all of those things. My one friend has a peanut allergy, so it's like the safest bet to come here. And also, I'm gonna show you guys their little boxes. Look how cute these are. They're so cute and so like girly and amazing, so. I got four, cu four cupcakes for both the girls, and then Scotty and I eat a snickerdoodle, cause why not, right? Downtown Burlington is so cute this time of year. I think I'm also gonna go into this one store called Centro, but I'm not gonna bring my camera, cause I just feel like it'll, it's like a small shop and they've got like a ton of stuff in there, so. If I get anything, I will show you. <laughs> Operation Drop Off the Gifts is going on a phenomenal route. Sorry, that doesn't make sense. I don't care. I worked a morning show. Anyways, <laughs> I was downtown Burlington. I picked up Kelly's Bake Shop, as you saw, and then I parked to go into that shop Centro. And I was thinking, oh, I'll show them what I got, but actually I got a couple things for Scotty, so I can't show you. But I will show you the star that I got for the top of our tree. It is so beautiful as soon as I get home. But I literally ran into my one friend who I was buying stuff for and I, I was walking, I saw her mom, and I was texting her mom, just saying like, hey, what are you guys up to? Like, are you out? And like, can I have the address again? And then I saw her and I was like, oh! And then I <laughs> ducked behind a building. And then I was just thinking, why are you being crazy? I literally texted her and I was like, oh my God, that was close. And then I was like, why are you being crazy? Just go and say hello. So then I actually got to see my one friend who we were video chatting with tonight, which was like the best, and then I left them and then they walked one way and I walked the other way and I was like, crap, I should just give them the gift right now. And then so instead of having to drive like two cities over, I just got to give them the gift right then and it was still a surprise. I was like, sorry, it wasn't the surprise I wanted it to be, but, and then her mom was like, it's still a surprise. <laughs> so true. So that was amazing and like so lovely. And now I just dropped off the other birthday gift and I'm really bad at recognizing people's homes. I'm so sorry, but it's just not one of those things I'm good at. I'm not great at directions. I'm not great at recognizing your home. So I called my one friend Haley and I was like, Haley, please reassure me that I'm at the right house. I wasn't. I was a couple houses down. So she, she FaceTimed me through the whole process and it's all good now. So <laughs> we're in a good spot. Time to go home. <laughs> I'm home now. Look at this angel. <laughs> this is what I got us. Is it a puppy? It's not a puppy. It's a star. For our tree. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Yeah. 
I always try to say beautiful and pretty together. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's put it on there. Okay. I'm kind of worried about breaking this light. Which light? Aww. <laughs> it's perfect and dorky. It's perfect. <laughs> Here, let's, uh, let's bend it. We could just put it on one that's a little lower. Scott's going for the second try here. <laughs> I was like, does it look good? And he's like, it looks really weird. <laughs> Which would be fitting, I guess, for our hustle. Yeah. But I think you're right. You really gotta shove it in there. If only Michael Scott were here. You're the real star here. No, you are. This is like the emo angle. It is. Wow, it really is. It really is. I just don't want to have a double chin. So remember, this is for future Amanda to laugh at. Remember a couple nights ago, we were putting up the tree and we wanted to set the mood and put on Christmas music? Well, on our television, we have YouTube and it's Scott's YouTube connected. And look at all of his recommended videos. It's just hours and hours of Christmas music. You ruined my algorithm. <laughs> I ruined your algorithm. I ruined it. I'm so sorry. These are the pieces I got. So I've been really into the idea of getting like sets. And this is funny because this company is literally called Set Active. And it's one of those Instagram finds. I originally found this because I have uh, a few people that I follow who do a few fitness things. And Olivia Rink is one of them who, she's just like so fit. She used to be a cheerleader and she's also a very, very awesome lifestyle blogger. But look how cute these sets are. I got the oatmeal one. And then I also got the one in Slate. And the one in Slate, I think both of these colors are their like core collection. So there are a few colors in or on the website that you can choose. Sorry guys, that I'm just like my mind. It is just really hard. I'm gonna end this vlog right after this. And I'm gonna just try these on another day, but, and then maybe do a little review. So for these sets, I got the tank ones. I love that there's no built-in and I know this wouldn't be the same for all women, but your girl can definitely be like totally fine without that. And it's also got the tea back, which I like. And just a bit more coverage. There was one that was one shoulder. But what I was saying earlier was in the color collection and already feeling the leggings, they're super nice and thick and so seamless as well, which I can so appreciate. I wanna start getting into more like a Pilates grind bar and as well yoga. And the color selection, they have a bunch of colors. I'll put them right down here just so you can see them. There are a lot that aren't in their core collection. So they kind of like come and go. And a lot of the sizes were out. So I was thinking, you know what, I'm gonna get the core collection and just see how I like those. I watched a couple of reviews online, but sometimes it can be really hard because you've got to choose someone to watch a review who works out like you work out and maybe has a similar body type as you so you can see really how it might fit on you. I got small, looking at them right now, they are quite teeny, so, but they are very stretchy. And I think that small will be good to kind of just, yeah, hug my figure a little bit better so there's nothing loose uh, while working out and doing like stretching and things like that, but time will tell. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I know we kind of started with the holiday vibe and then there are a few fun things along the way. And then just a little bit of a blip in the middle with a morning shows. But I just feel like those are the ways that weekly vlogs go. And I just love watching vlogs the most. So I hope you enjoyed watching this one as well. This is one of their colors. It's in watermelon. And uh, they have a set that's also this color. I really wanted to get it, but sadly they were out of my size. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Today, um, there's been so many mixed emotions. Like, I don't know what it is about this week lately, but I feel like I've been working a ton and I also have those emotions of like, well, if I don't work, then no one's gonna work for me. 
and I've just been letting comparison sink in a little bit. So I finally have a day off for this Saturday. I work tomorrow and Monday and I think I just need a little reset. I made a list of things that I had to do because if I don't make a list, I just become so overwhelmed and very like I don't end up getting things done because I just continuously task jump. So that's that. We ordered breakfast from one of our favorite places that is local. It's called Kerr Street Cafe. So Scotty and I ordered that. We're going to go for a quick walk as well. I think that will be nice and mind clearing. There are some things I have to get done today, but nonetheless. Also, I just got this new set in that you would have seen in my last vlog. This is a set active set. And I got the small bottoms as well as the, the small top with the T-bar back. And I really, really, really love it. This color is slate, and I also got it in oat milk. So I will link that down below, not sponsored or anything, but I've been really wanting to get back into a fitness grind, and I think today as well will be a really good day to start doing that again. So I want to do a yoga flow, just find one on YouTube and go through that because mentally and physically, I'm really craving that right now. Let me know what you are personally craving in the comments down below because sometimes just putting it out there kind of adds to that layer of motivation, so. I don't want them to see me. Get him. But I do want them to see me. <laughs> Scotty and I had just had a great chat about slowing down. <laughs> and we've seen so many dogs this morning, which helps, right? 100%. Oh, you're turning oh. in my lane. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> what does that mean? Make haste slowly. What? Make haste slowly. Oh. It's like a Spartan motto. It's pretty much the equivalent of. Slow as smooth, What is it again? Festina Lent. Hmm. Make haste slowly.